Matt from Urban Survivalist, and if you guys have seen Charlie Mike's most recent video, he got himself a ball peen hammer shoulder rig made up out of Kydex so that he can conceal one under his vest, and I thought it was a great idea, I loved it, and I said I was going to try and make one, and so I did, it's, that's what it looks like under the jacket, um, it's extremely comfortable, it does not feel like you're carrying a hammer under your jacket and when you need to get it, it just pops right out. Uh, I modified the hammer, I'll talk about that later, but I just wanted to demonstrate it. You can put it right back in, just like that, and tuck it away. It doesn't print at all, it's extremely comfortable. Do it one more time, that's it. So. Let me change the camera and I'll give you a closer look at it. Alright guys, first off I want to apologize. I just realized that some of that demonstration was off camera, but I figured it was good enough and I didn't want to go back and reshoot it. So, here's the close-up look of it. You can see it's just some molded Kydex. Uh, pretty rough around the edges, but I figured it's going to be under a jacket anyway, so nobody's going to care. You can see it's pretty messed up right there, but it works. So, I got two grommets at the top for this paracord, and uh, if you're familiar with uh, shoulder holsters or Merc harnesses, it's pretty much the exact same thing. You've got uh, the left arm through this loop right here, and then this knot uh, goes in your back, and then this loop would have your right arm through it and that makes all the uh, all the paracord behind you and concealed by the jacket so uh, it's pretty much undetectable uh, to remove the hammer you just pull it out and then it comes free you can see it's just held in by the kydex um, the hammer itself is just a ball peen hammer. I don't know any of the measurements on it or anything. Um, I had a couple laying around. I figured I could use one of them for this. Uh, you can see, hold on, here's an extra one. You can see this one's a little longer and there you go. And if I use this one, it stuck out the bottom of the jacket. So I cut it down. I don't know, it looks like two inches or so. And then on the factory one, you can see the the bottom kind of swells up right here, and that's to keep your hand from sliding off. Well, I cut that off, so my or uh, yeah, I had to add these like grip tape. I got this at Home Depot um, just to uh, improve grip, and it works really well. Like I'm pretty impressed. It sticks on good, and it's extremely grippy. So to put it back in. You just rock it back in, and uh, you're good to go. So, just thought I'd show that off. I really did make one, and I'm pretty impressed. I like it. Um, probably have to give it a try wearing it around in the winter and see how that goes. Um, I guess that's about it. So, thanks for watching, and uh, look for more videos.